Okay, so how long have you two been together, you and Dwayne? I know him since I was 14. 14. But this go round, we've been together for 10 years. 10 straight. years, got it. 10 years together, but knowing each other since 14. Yes. And how was your intimacy when you first started dating? It was excellent. Doing excellent. it in the cars, Ooh. you know, no filters. Okay. Since time went on, so did it. Oh, so you're saying the intimacy went away. Yeah. When, so you two got it. I know you've been together for 10 years. When did you get engaged? We got engaged uh, 2016, Engaging. 17. Okay. And um, did Dwayne cheat on you before? Yes, you got he married? Che yeah. Okay. When he went to jail, I found out he cheated on me. Okay. And had a baby. Oof. So when he came home from jail, a family member sent me a picture of the child. Mm. So I called him because he wasn't working yet. He had my vehicle. I said... I need you to come to my job. It's an emergency. Yes. So he came. I told him to get in the passenger seat. I got in the driver's seat. I said, who is this? He put his head down. I said, who is this? I ain't going to lie. I punched him in the face. Ooh. I did. Wow. I did. It was out of anger. I did. So a lot go down in the car with y'all. And what happened in 2018 when you noticed a change in the way? Um, 2018, I'll say maybe August, September, um, we had trauma happen to one of my stepdaughters, and, okay. you know, unfortunately, she went to jail. So that hurted him. Um, November 2018, I had double pneumonia and RSV. I died and came back. Oh, my gosh. So glad yeah. you're here. And 21, unfortunately, once again, we had another traumatic issue happen. Um, My stepson committed suicide. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, Here you go, love. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, my husband cleaned up his blood. So your husband had to be the one to handle that? Okay. <gasps> I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're okay. Thank you for being vulnerable and sharing that. It gives me context. Um... So once that happened, my husband hasn't been the same. And of course, losing a child like that, who would? Um, so then that's when the intimacy really just went away. Got it. I was heavier then. I was 368. So I'm thinking, okay, um, maybe my weight also have to play a part of why he's not touching me. So last year in May, I ended up getting gastric bypass and lost 140 pounds. Okay, great. Okay. Um, you well, you're beautiful then. You're still beautiful as now as well. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So you had the surgery to get yourself to feeling a little bit better. Yes. And the intimacy still is not good. No. Um, one day while he was at work, I decided to put on this little negligee. And he comes in the door and he's like, what do you got on? And I'm like, what do I have on? Okay, well, let me change up out of this. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah. Do you think he's attracted to you? He did tell me he wasn't sexually attracted to me. Mm. He did. When did he say that? Um, he said it several times. Mm. And what did he say his reason was? He says because of my mouth. But I'm a Scorpio. We mm -hmm. just don't take no bull crap. That's what it is. <laughs> we don't take no bull crap. We don't bite our tongue, and we speak what's on our mind. We don't think before we speak, we speak it. And Girl, you gotta tell me, that's why they gave me a talk show. That okay. part. <laughs> Girl, that me, part. That, so, me. I mean, I'm not gonna bite my tongue. Yeah. But, does he, but does he discuss his feelings with you, in all sincerity? No, I discuss my feelings all the time. I, I tell him all the time, I like sex. Uh-huh. My <laughs> Okay. I don't think I'm that grown for here and there. I don't know. I'm going to be annoying this. <laughs> I'm being annoying You got me blushing, girl. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so I hear that. Well, everyone, it's time to meet Dwayne and hear his side of the story. So everyone, welcome Dwayne to the show. I mean, she's, she's right about a lot of stuff. Are so, you attracted to her? I am, and there's a lot of times that that gets pushed away. Got it. Um... Like she said, she's she's not she's an attractive woman. I, I lucked up. Mm hmm But you don't show me that I'm attractive. You used I used to. to. Up until what point? We here now. Let's say it. What is it? They, they the need point? to understand too. When his son committed suicide. Okay. I figured that. Well, 
It's not just that. Then what else is it? Well, I mean, I lost a cousin the same year that was like my brother. Uh, yeah, you did. I had a kid that's doing 20 to 40 that we never would have expected that, and she went at 21. You almost lost your life. Right. You I can't it? just get over it. I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. No, no, I can't please. just get over it. Like, I don't tell her about nightmares that I have, cleaning up my son's blood. That's not getting me to intimacy. But nobody's going to understand it because I'm not always talking about it and bringing that to the table. Right, and that's why I always tell you, babe, talk about it. You have to release it because it's causing a problem in our marriage. You holding all of this in is taken away from me, and I tell you this all the time, babe. I understand what you're saying, but the majority that I hear it from you is why we're under the influence and it's an argument and now it's a story. Because the only time I feel like I can really express myself is right. under the influence. I understand that. You don't hear me any other time. But you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I understand what you're saying. But do you realize the reason why I be so bitchy is because I'm not getting <laughs> Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. So if you understand that and you say it's my mouth, why don't you just give me to shut me up? I did that already. <laughs> One that's, time. It, well, it no, has to listen, be consistent. Listen, it can't I have just be done one that. time. Listen, I have done that. When, babe? The times that you don't remember, which is why I'm tired of doing that. I shouldn't have to do that. You don't hear me any other time than when we're drinking. And what I'm realizing a pattern of is, do you hear him? Are you truly hearing your husband? Because I can tell, I you, in this, I can tell you in this short amount of time, I can hear him. And I hear what he's saying to you. I hear him saying that I do love you, I'm attracted to you, but right now, I don't know how to process all my emotions. I don't know how to talk about it. I also want to be with you, but when we connect, I, f I feel pressure, I feel all these things. Please tell me if I'm hitting it right there. Yeah, you're hitting it. Because I like she said- with, with you with everything, okay, babe. You well, don't open up with anything. Okay, so I, I had a baby on you, right? Quite a few. Okay, yeah. but did you did you communicate and tell me that you had cheated? Yeah, I did. Well, after my truth. No, you didn't tell me your truth. My my family member told me your truth. No, you did not. Listen, calm you down. Had the listen, listen, to, no, listen, don't listen. Tell me to calm no, down listen the way. to what no, I'm saying. Listen, listen to what I'm saying because you're telling me you told me. I didn't you did tell you. Tell I didn't me. tell you. You it, did just say that. You won't stop and let me correctify. You was told. Ronnie, Bobby, and Ricky, and Mike told you. I should have heard okay. it from you, though. Okay, I didn't. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have heard it from anybody else. When you're that not baby letting me. Born, you're not you letting me get me the then. message out that I'm trying to say. You're still stuck there, and I'm still stuck there. So moving forward, you was told I would not have known what was going on with you cheating until that truth came about. Right or wrong. Right. So you was going to take Cut that to the... Cut sneakier than dogs. We oh. get away with it. Okay, so I had a you baby out of the situation that made it be worse than what it was, but if you was a woman that was able to get pregnant, and if you would have, then what? Okay, then there probably so, would have been two kids, okay. but I couldn't have kids. Oh. I... Okay, so let's, let's back it up. Did y'all really ever heal from you being in jail and you finding out he cheated? Did y'all ever really heal from that? No, because um, I don't even like talking about the situation. That child don't exist. The, the, nothing, no, nothing to go. that nature. Got it. So, no. So, that child is here, and you can't even talk to her about that child? No. No. Got it. Not even allowed to mention the name or anything. Got it. Got it. It don't exist. But I'm asking now, in the context of communication, how can you ever have healthy and honest communication if you can't even talk about the thing that broke y'all in the first place? Well... Because I'm going to tell you, this is why when you talk about intimacy years later, while y'all can't talk about it and while y'all can't see eye to eyes, y'all can't even talk about the one thing that broke the intimacy, really. That's only because I gave him an ultimatum. I said, it's either me or you can go be a father. Where, where's your child at? Where's that child at? I don't know. Do you know, do you know where the child is? No. And that's all he So there's no communication? Do. That's okay. all he needs to do. Okay, okay. I don't. You know, uh, eventually, later on down the line, it's probably going to come back to bite me. If you can't force a woman to get her abortion, you can't force nobody who give you money for, abort for their abortion to be a father or something they didn't want. You wanted that kid. Yeah. So now you take care of it. I disagree. I, no, I, disagree. I don't. Well, I feel as though later on down the line, it's just going to come back and... It's definitely going to come back. Yeah. It's definitely going to come back. I and got I'm, the receipts in my phone. I said I'll show the little girl. But this it, is everything. But she's not going to care about those receipts. The truth um, is the truth. 
the truth of the matter is that she's going to know that her father was not there for her. Her father. He that, never wanted her. Okay. Okay, See, hold on, hold on. No, I, I'm not going to debate you on this. I'm no, not going to debate need, you. I just need, I'm just you trying to get an understanding. Point. How could you do that? Where's, so, where's the in between? So this is, this is the unfortunate part, is the logic for us as adults is, sounds like, oh, you can't force a person to be a parent. But that little girl has no idea of any of this. All that little girl knows is that I was not wanted. All that little girl knows is that there's a woman who told my father I shouldn't be around him. Mm -hmm. And I know you're looking at it from the mother's point of view, but I would implore you to look at it from this little girl's point of view. Mm -hmm. I would implore you. And I would implore you to look at it from this little girl's point of view because that will help the healing for you. Because yes, I know you're mad at the choice your man made, and I know you're mad at the choice that this other woman made, but there's a little girl here that literally has nothing to do with this. And I know that that is not to say it trumps your pain, but I want you to know is that until you start to heal from that, the communication and intimacy issues you have still to this day are always going to keep getting worse and worse. What we don't realize is that when we talk about communication and intimacy, it's like a tumbleweed. It starts as one little thing and just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and little pieces keep getting attached that are all of the same thing, and we don't realize it until it's so big that now you're years later in the house saying, we drink it and we don't even want to have sex. He doesn't touch me. He doesn't do anything to me. Well, y'all ain't been communicating about your real stuff since day one. I need both of y'all to give one thing that you need, and I need y'all to hear each other without any defense or talking about it, and that's what y'all use as the first step. I'm going to help y'all clean up with the first step so y'all can get home and start to communicate but also have the intimacy. So what do you need? I'm going to have you go first because you haven't been heard. I just what need you to listen to me. I really just need some understanding. I'm not always right. So I mean, the thing is, is that you want to be heard and she wants to be seen. This is, that's the clear, that's the basis of it. That is the base of this. Say to your wife, I want to be heard. I want to be heard. Say to your husband, I want to be seen. I want to be seen. So we can be heard and be seen together without it being well, friction. You see how, you, don't, you see this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember how big I was? Yeah, I remember Who that. went on like this? I Who never said I like didn't this? want it. I never said I didn't want it. Act like you want it, babe. So this is what she wants. When she just stood up with there, that wasn't about sex. You said, yeah, who wouldn't want it? What she you wants you to good, say babe. is, you look sexy. That's what she wants. So like I said, you want to be heard, she wants to be seen. So if you would have said right there, <laughs> you look sexy, you look beautiful. <laughs> you get it now? You get it. You got it. Okay. <laughs> and I need work on that. I didn't ever have that to know that or for somebody to... Got it. But you got it now. I get it. You got it now. I get it. And, and it. those little words do mean a lot, but sometimes you I need forget. to get... I do forget. Yeah. I don't, and I don't really be trying to just be stuck in it. Good. Like my son that passed away, he wouldn't want me to be stuck in it. So yeah. that's why I tried, to, I tried to move past it. Yeah. But did you hear that? He said he got it. How do you feel about that? I feel good. You feel good? It's going to take some work. So this is not just an all-be-all fix right here. It's the first step. But at least he heard it. So the next time y'all get into this situation where you feel like, I'm giving you the mantra y'all going to use, where you feel like, baby, I want intimacy, which really means you want to be seen. You say, baby, see me right now. That's going to be your cue to say, you look good. You look sexy. Give her a, a caress. Just know it's not always going to lead to sex because he needs to be heard. They don't need that. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'm giving the tools so you can work it out. So when he says that, when he says that, you know, oh, he's touching, you feel seen. But then when he says he needs to be heard, that's when you got to shut down everything you're doing. That means even if you're drinking, which we got to talk about the drinking issue too, but that's another show. <laughs> another, there's a lot of compound issue I was right now on this paper. When he says I need to be heard, that means you say, okay. Let me listen to what my baby got to say. This right now, he needs to pour himself out. That's what's going to work y'all out, all right? First step. It's the first step. First step. All right? I wish y'all the best luck. Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to the Karamo Show YouTube.